maybe I don't deserve my license. I don't want to get involved. Jesus. Ah! Ah! So, I've delved more into Caitlin Lau's investigation, and an enormous number of missing person cases center around the EPC. The inspector was definitely onto something. Let's find them then, yeah? Angel's in deep if Albion finds out he's dead sick. One more time. One more time. My mind to yours. Oh, my Summons. I've already taken care of your entry. Get you in quick and quiet. Keep this on the down low, yeah? Last thing I need is me being ID'd here. No worries. I'll spoof. Well, come meet me on the rooftop. You only place here that doesn't smell like piss. Got some info for you. The European Processing Center. It processes deportees by stacking them up in squalid conditions and forgetting about them. But hey, it's to protect London, right? Now me, eh? Have a drink? Not half bad considering it was made in a blade and bathtub. Um... Don't worry. They let us have our little voices in here. Keeps us quiet. Right. More for me. You can't be picky. Same doctors, lawyers, street vendors come true. It's all the same once you're in here. What do you mean? We're all equally dehumanized. As far as the man in the street's concerned, we're the reason the city's gone to shite, you see? So these pricks can do whatever they want to. What's going on here? This place is worse than a prison camp. 
Every day I see people come through here, torn from their homes and their families. But I'd rather stay and keep our eye on things. Maybe help out once in a while. Like, no. Fucking sickening, isn't it? Government's fine treating people like this. And if you happen to disappear in here, no one would know. Yeah, well, people have been disappearing. Records say they have been processed, but it doesn't add up. No one ever properly leaves. And with the Kellys prowling around like fucking hyenas, I am not too optimistic about the people slipping through the cracks. Fucking Mary Kelly, pagan of pagans. Got a nose in all the shit. Truth. Now, about your missing guy. The best place to start would be the EPC database. They keep a record of everyone that comes in. And be careful. Even when they're attempting to leave Pushing the location of the EPC database on your optic. Respect. Don't do that. Focus. Focus. Why don't you take a break? There will be a database here that we can search for evidence on Angel Lopez. Not much going on up top. Don't want to get caught here.
file has been deleted from the main database, along with hundreds of others. Still very detailed. Even when committing crimes against humanity, the government doesn't skimp on paperwork. Here is a recording labelled Exit Interview. You know what we do with terrorists, Lopez? Ah, uh, don't go pissing me off by denying anything. We know you're with DedSec. You think you were picked up on some random sweep? And Not a I'm fucking out. chance. Nothing to say. Hmm. Well, this is not going to go well for you, then, because I want information. The rest of your cell, where are they? I want names, places, everything you've got. You think I'm daft? I spill everything I know and what? You let me go? I'm not talking. I know how this ends. Oh, I don't think you do. I'm going to throw you to the wolves. The Kellys have an interesting way of disposing with problems. You think I'm scared of some fucking thugs? Of winding up floating in the dams? Fuck you. You're too pretty for that, mate. <laughs> First, they'll peddle you. For Dosh, right? Then, when you're used up, they're going to chop you up and send the pieces to the four corners. I can take whatever you've got. I almost feel sorry for you. Get him to the bloody clinic, then. Shit. They knew he was dead sick the whole time. This doesn't look good for Angel. The clinic keeps government service hours, which means it's closed. We'll have to find Angel the old-fashioned way and hack their CTOS hub. Deportation limbo, horrible living conditions, unexplained disappearances. It's almost as if the media are deliberately ignoring the situation here in favor of... Oh, look here, Beatrice Stokely, 89, recently took up kickboxing to fill up her days. Fascinating. If the EPC is a typical example of how humans treat each other, I'd say a benevolent AI overlord is a step up, wouldn't you? Bags, less talking, yeah? I have reconstructed an AR scene of Angel's examination. You can view it inside the clinic. Bloody brilliant. something we gotta look closer facial analysis matches for both they're part of mary kelly's little pack so inspector lau was right after all clank kelly and albion are in bed together what a shit orty that would be Chips coated with biocompatible glass to prevent rejection. They put a fucking chip in his neck. For what? Surveillance? Tracking? No, these are more sophisticated. If I had to guess, I would say they were designed to deliver a dose of some unknown compound. Not the kind of thing you find at your local corner shop. I could reconstruct the path he took if you want to see how this cliffhanger gets resolved. Stay on him. He might have escaped. Fucker! Get him! Before he triggers! up on him. Come on, Angel. You fucker! Shit, he might make it. Come on, come on. Let me in. Get fucked up. We don't have a match yet. 
She's gonna kill us. No, it's fine. As long as he's not damaged, there'll be no waste. Demand's high with the new network. Guess you're right. Let's tube him, get him in the van, and out to the incinerator. One ex... In that looks like the chip weren't just any tracking thing they triggered it remotely at least for now it looks like the kellys want angel alive we need to find him see what they did to him and what that fucking microchip is all about seems like advanced technology for mary kelly and her band of thugs to be waving around could mary be part of a scary dark web hacker group like say oh i don't know pick one zero day Interesting theory, Bagley, but hold your investigation algorithms for the moment, will you? Angel needs us. The incinerator they mentioned is probably the Southwark incinerator. It's practically right around the corner. This is where the Kellys brought Angel. Creepy as fuck, fam. Now, now, keep your chin up. We'll find him. There's a camera network that might have caught where they took him. Let's hurry and access that network, shall we? Take it from here.
you came for? Just listen. What? What's good? I've gone over the captured footage. I was able to follow Mr. Lopez down to the cellar, but then I ran out of cameras. Not a problem you often have in London. Got us a plan. Let's go, yeah? My oh my, Deadbolt Trump's technology. The door is sealed, but this rubbish chute might do. It either leads to the cellar or your grisly death. Or both, I suppose. Fucking great. I'm not going to cut you. Get over here, will you? Thanks for the distraction. Gave me the second I needed to take care of this filth. You're right, gal. That fucking arsehole was ready to murk you proper. 
He was. I'm fine. I just need a second to catch my breath and find my files. Shit, you're Lau, right? Caitlin Lau with the police. Yeah, yeah, we got your video logs. Man, I can't believe you're going after Mary Kelly on your own. It wasn't always on my own. Who the hell are... You're dead sick, aren't you? You tracked me to the slaughterhouse. Nah, sorry. Nah, look, I I'm looking for a mate. Disappeared from the EPC? Fucking meant all these people ended up here. I mean, look at them. Then I'm sorry. I don't think there's much hope for finding him alive. The Kellys have got a sick little operation going. A kind of human organ black market. I've been investigating them for months. And they got my fucking files. God, I feel like shit. You look like shit. I better bell my mates for you. They can get you to safety. Then I'll find Angel and your files too. I mean, why not? Everything I've gathered on Mary Kelly. Almost enough to take her down. Fuck. Well, you better stay on our radar, yeah? Because I think Dead Sex is going to have a beef with Mary fucking Kelly after all this. <sighs> all right, an operative is on their way to escort Inspector Lau. So, let's find Angel and Inspector Lau's files. I'll wait for your guy in here. And... Faith. For your help. I'm glad we're joining you. There's no doubt about it. This whole operation is meant to harvest organs. Clan Kelly's chopping off the parts they want and burning the leftovers. Yeah, only none of these poor bastards signed up to be an organ donor. Mary Kelly's gotta get got. What the fuck? What's been done to these people? Bagley, can you do a facial reconstruction or something? Take a picture and I can run key details past various databases. Not much going on up top. Negative. Shite, there's no telling how long the Kellys have been at this. The people that we got to stop Mary Kelly. Again, not Angel. She thought it through. Those microchips are probably filled with some sort of toxin that induces paralysis and asphyxiation. Intubation would prolong life until surgeons get round to them. So, it keeps all the organs intact. Fucking brilliant. Unfortunately, I must confirm that this is indeed Angel Lopez. Shit. Angel. He knew the risks. I did too, but... Never thought DedSec would get caught up in this. Mary Kelly is preying on London's most vulnerable. She's a fucking monster. Taking her out needs to be a DedSec priority. Now we need to find Caitlin Lau's case files on Mary Kelly and see if my conjecture may be correct. Could Mary Kelly be in zero day?
You got the files. The inspector will be impressed. Now get out of here before someone decides to turn you into minced meat. Chop, chop. Yeah, no shit. Deadsec, Caitlin and Lau here. I uh, wanted to thank you. I'd be nothing but an anatomy lesson by now, or a pile of ashes. You'll be happy to know that Inspector Lau has been escorted to a nearby refuge and is getting her wounds Auto treated. Now enabled. I'll be fine. Still a little flighty from whatever they gave me. And frankly, a little stunned that we've joined forces. Damn. Never thought Deadsec would partner up with a cop, or, well, an ex cop even, but I'm glad. Whatever it takes to stop Mary Kelly from doing this shit to others. Exactly. You have an organization. I have information and some backing from powerful people. Pool our resources and we might just take her down. Mary Kelly's no petty criminal. Bags, ring the team. We've got these files to look at and we've got to plan our next steps. I'll sync with Inspector Lau and prepare a briefing. I could get used to this resistance fighting for DedSec. I'm a natural. You wouldn't have been recruited if DedSec thought you'd be killed that easily. Oh, thanks, Bagsy. Hey, wait, you got beef blood? Oh, don't listen to him. Bags can come across a bit rude sometimes, but he's really sweet. Well done. Got a potential recruit for you. I'll mark them on your map. Auto drive now disabled. <laughs> Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now disabled. <laughs> Auto drive now enabled. Auto drive now disabled.
I've heard from Inspector Lau. We're ready for the briefing. Kelly heads up the most powerful crime family in London, Clan Kelly, which should at least be easy to remember. Under her old man, they were a bit player. Then he died, and her rivals started disappearing. Her enemies, her friends, her family. They call her Bloody Mary for a reason. Early on, Mary abandoned cash in favor of cryptocurrency and brought the Kelly's criminal business online. It makes weapon smuggling, drug running, money laundering all a lot easier without a cash trail. The woman single-handedly modernized organized crime in London. She considers herself to be untouchable. Case in point, from my files you retrieved. Darla Covington, 19. Sasha Haddad, 28. Radek Stopkovich, 24. All disappeared. It's difficult to find good help these days, isn't it, love? Most people, they ain't driven. Not like you. Because they feel worthless, don't they? The way that the world is, how it uses people. It's horrible. It's nice that you have a purpose. Oh, that'll be me, love. We aren't finished here. This... was a courtesy. Oh! Give my regards to their families. It's horrible losing someone you love. Nice meeting you, Caitlin. As you can see, she'll never respond to interrogation. But there is one place she feels comfortable talking. The Sandstone Residence. Inspector Lau thinks a police bug in the Kelly's headquarters may have the evidence she needs to finally convict Bloody Mary. Sandstone is their center of operations. I know the data on that bug will take her down. Get it for me, and I swear I'll put her away forever. Pushing the coordinates to your optics. Sabine here, Inspector Lau. I'm curious how you think you can bring Mary Kelly to justice now, with no backing. Even before Albion took over policing, you couldn't lock her up. And she goes on treating humans like cattle. I had to work within the system. Yes, it was corrupt. I knew it. I just didn't know how bad it was. I thought a strong enough case couldn't be buried. Oof, now that's a laugh. I ain't never met a Fed who weren't corrupt. Why would it be different going forward? Because I'm taking it to a contact in the Attorney General's office, an honest solicitor with a hard-on for organized crime, specifically for Mary Kelly. Look, our methods may differ, but I want to help those people as much as you do. All right, but however this goes down, there's no way we're letting Mary slip the net again. That's not how DedSec does things. Let's get to Sandstone. <laughs> 